Hey, good morning, aloha, good evening. Thank you for joining my Facebook live stream today. This is Master Paul, and I'm coming to you, I guess today is the 11th day of the month since yesterday was the 10th, and I thought it was the 7th, but hey, I'm back on. So today we'll be extending the uh, excitement that grew yesterday. There was a lot of positive feedback from yesterday's question and answer session associated with how to apply soul power to solve our problems. And so I'll be doing more of that today. <clears throat> uh, looks like we have some new faces joining in, so I hope that you stick around. I will try to focus on uh, the taking care of those who are unfamiliar with this so that they get the most value out of this uh, practice. Now this will be an hour long uh, live stream as always when I go Monday through Thursday, same time. And so if you have to leave, um, then, then by all means take care of your responsibilities. I encourage you to stay if you can. This is uh, kept and recorded on my Facebook page so you can come back and watch it. Yesterday received uh, well over 2,000 uh, views and uh, so I, apparently people would <laughs> like the idea of learning how to apply soul power to their different aspects of their life. <clears throat> so as, uh, as I did yesterday, I will take time to explain the general nature of soul, the general nature of the purpose of the soul, the general nature of the purpose of soul power, and how we can activate and bring soul power into our life. Um, because there are a lot of new faces coming in today, uh, this will be a bit left field for you. Um, especially when I get to some of the potential solutions of how to apply soul power. Um, so you're, you're going to have to open your heart and open your mind to something that you might not have heard before uh, and learn more about it because we are literally moving into a, an era of soul, all things related to soul, and soul has beyond extraordinary power. And um, I'm blessed to have a, a spiritual teacher, Master Shah, who brings extraordinary wisdom on the subject matter. He is by far one of the most advanced um, beings on the subject of soul and soul power. So I will share that information with you today as best I can given the nature of uh, the subject matter and some of those that are new. <clears throat> so we have quite a few uh, folks joining in. I'm going to stop and check in with everybody. Aloha Danette, thank you for joining today. Welcome Ari. Welcome Ali, Aloha Helena Yakman, and welcome also to Emma Kennison. Thank you for joining. Aloha Kristen Rojas, thank you for being my right hand, my left arm, and my uh, support person. Uh, she likes to refer to herself as the girl in the booth, so, so make sure you give her your love. She helps a lot. Welcome Silky, um, coming in from Germany. Welcome uh, Sherry, and Aloha Shelly. Aloha Abdallah Thraj. Welcome Crane Her. Aloha Tresina Rice. And Aloha Robin. Welcome also to Susan Birchmore. Welcome Sandy Gearman. Welcome Kristen Strachan. Welcome Susan Birchmore. <coughs> Welcome also to Julia Lawrence. Aloha Aloha Kumrudin. Welcome Candy, welcome Janice, welcome Diana, <coughs> welcome Mariah, and also to Danielle Fuller, welcome. Aloha TC, and aloha uh, Andy Da Flower Girl, <laughs> good afternoon. I'm reading uh, uh, Andy's question. <clears throat> so the answer is um, on the forgiveness practice, Andy, that, <clears throat> and I welcome Christina from Germany. A forgiveness practice is never about the length of time. It's always about the depth of the forgiveness. So if one can go into a deep and authentic forgiveness, they can accomplish in five minutes what others might take 45 minutes to do. So it's more, no different than being a good parent. The, the, uh, it's not the quantity of time, it's the quality of that time. 
And so be authentic in your forgiveness practices and the rest of it will take care of itself. Welcome, Tanya. Welcome also to uh, K. Ellie Lee. Thank you everybody for joining and thank you also for hitting the share button and letting other people know about this uh, opportunity today. So we're going to follow yesterday's format. Um, because of the nature of the subject, uh, I, I, I will have to do some explanation. I will also um, then go into uh, questions and answers specific to how to deal with things with soul power. Um, this is not a soul reading where you say, this is my problem, please fix it for me, or what do I do? <clears throat> uh, that's something that I can offer if you want to do individual private sessions. This is more about how to understand the nature of soul power, the different variations of it, and how to apply them. And when you hear it three or four or five different times through this topic today, you will um, you'll have a better understanding, all right? <clears throat> so let's start by connecting heart to heart, soul to soul. We'll place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, which is like a prayer position. It's a hand mudra. We drop our left hand in front of our heart center. Right hand remains pointed towards heaven. And this connects your heart center to heaven. So close your eyes and I will call in the beings of light. Dear beloved heaven, divine Tao and source, all layers of heaven's committees, all beings of light serving the plan of the light side, including stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. All angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, and ascended masters. Lamas, Sifus, Gurus, and saints. We love you, honor you, respect you. We ask you most humbly to be present at this time to serve each and every one of us that have come to watch this or will watch or listen at a different time. We ask that you bless us to open our hearts and souls that we can receive this information and apply this wisdom in the highest and best manner. We're very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, love you, honor you, respect you. We invite you to please come at this time and to offer your unconditional service. Bless us each and every one to open our hearts and souls as we chant your mantra. Prepare everyone's heart and soul to receive this wisdom. Thank you. So for those that are just tuned in, this is a mantra. This is a healing blessing as well. So you can make a request to heaven. And we will offer this uh, service. It's an unconditional service to join all hearts and souls. <clears throat> Everyone else, you're welcome to join in this blessing. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Wo, ai, wo, shin, er, ling. Wo, ai, trun, ran, le. Wong, ling, rong, her, mu, shir, shong. Shong, ai, ping, on, a, se. Shang I ping on a shame. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace and harmony ha 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you Kristen for posting the information on this song <clears throat> for those that wish to be a benefit to humanity to make a real difference but you're so busy you don't know how to accomplish that this is the solution uh, Kristen posted the verbiage on the song to learn more about it we chant it tonight at the center every uh, two hours every week we chant there's 43 different languages. We have 12 of them wired. And so we chant to serve humanity. Uh, learn more. You can learn just how powerful it is to, for self-healing and to uh, serve others. So welcome, Doris. <coughs> welcome also to um, Lorraine, our Lorne. Welcome, Manuela. And welcome, Geraldine. Aloha from uh, Ireland. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome, Limk, Limk Mark. Welcome, Deborah Anderson. Welcome, Mary Morse. Uh, and anyone else, if I've missed you, please forgive me. Welcome, Brianna. So, 
I will offer first a teaching for all those new that have come along. This will be a very abbreviated, I have taken just one of these things I'll talk about on the nature of soul and, and talked about it for an hour. So each one of these very abbreviated explanations <coughs> have a much, much, much greater depth to them. Today is how you can use soul power to uh, transform the pain in your life. And I did see the, the uh, first question, by the way, from, um, from uh, Danette. So Danette, I will come back to that. <coughs> Excuse me again. Soul. What is a soul? Everyone and everything has a soul. That means everything, not just a human being. Why? The divine, our creator, uh, created everything. Every speck of energy and matter that has been created and that which is in manifest form, that which is in non-manifest form. Therefore, every speck of energy and matter that's in that sand, that's in the telephone you're watching me through, the computer, everything has creator uh, consciousness and spirit in it. Therefore, everything has a soul. <clears throat> that's the first baseline teaching. Again, that's one hour in and of itself. The second, every soul is here to serve. So that means even that jerk boyfriend, even that uh, unpleasant boss, the person that cuts you off driving, every soul's purpose is to serve. We only think of souls as human beings. Your car is serving you. It has a soul. The chair that you're sitting on is serving you. It has a soul. Every soul's purpose is to serve. Every wonderful message that you receive that serves you to be happy, everything that comes to you that creates a problem in your life is serving you. Every soul's purpose is to serve. <clears throat> so, how does every soul service? It serves us when we pay attention to its service, which is a great deal of what we put attention on yesterday. So the power of every soul to serve comes in the message. How do we discern the message? How do we, how do we convert the message into something that can assist us? That's part of it. Now there is also what's called soul power, which has many different uh, aspects to it. Soul power is something that every soul has, so human beings have soul power. And I'm not talking energy power, such as being a vessel through which uh, blessings come. That would be like a Reiki or an energy healing, something of that nature, or the, the services that I work with. <clears throat> yes, of course that includes soul power. But there is also the nature of... Uh, this song, for example, Love, Peace, and Harmony. Love, Peace, and Harmony carries beyond extraordinary power, far more than most human beings carry, but it's a song. So that's where the brain gets involved and say, well, how is that possible? Do your homework. That's a whole other hour. Just know that objects, things, people, um, words, uh, the delivery of a blessing, many, 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 many different things carry power. These different powers can be used to transform the blockages in our life. <clears throat> so, the question is, how do we apply soul power? And what do we need to apply it towards? And why do we need to apply soul power? Well, if you're problem free, that means that your soul has uh, no problems. It's uh, your karma free. That means you're just, you're just here on earth uh, watching the show. Okay, so if you're trouble free, floating around, you can disappear in your chair and go over to Timbuktu and, and have a good time over there and have lunch and return. That means that you are a very high level being and you're karma free. But if you're not one of those beings, that means you, like me, and most of the people here today have problems. And those problems have a relationship to our soul, our individual soul. <clears throat> our soul lives forever, we do not. Therefore, the soul carries forth all of our positive and negative experiences and messages from all lifetime. They're like messages on the soul. You've heard it read as Akashic Records, blah, blah, blah. The soul carries forth all of our positive and negative experiences. And then in the present life that we're experiencing, aspects of those enter our life. Aspects of the positive ones enter our life and bring good people, good money, good job, good health aspects of our negative uh, offerings to others, if we or our ancestors offered unpleasant service to others, then those also enter our life and they bring to us unpleasant health, unpleasant financial conditions, unpleasant relationships, and more. Okay, so pretty straightforward so far. 
soul power is in recognizing this very um, um, condensed set of information and then applying this to clear the blockages which are karma blockages um, and karma is not a religion by the way guys it's just a recognition that do unto others receive unto self okay so don't block your your, your mind don't don't square your head um, you know the, the the Christian teachings would say the sins of the father are visited upon the sins of the son the Buddha teachings would call it karma same same don't square your head this is simply about <clears throat> how do we get rid of it right it comes and it messes with us it, it creates struggles in our life how do we clear it you clear it with soul power now uh, my teacher master Shah this is him he puts extraordinary power into books he puts extraordinary power into music CDs that's one method of soul power he also puts power into objects and things I'm wearing something right now he put power into it I can take it off and offer a blessing to you and it would potentially cause you to feel a lot better it's a thing it's an object how can objects and things receive soul power they can because great beings serving unconditionally receive great power and as long as they continue to serve unconditionally they're giving authorities to transmit power to objects and things so that's one example of soul power I just mentioned love peace and harmony song is another example of soul power yesterday we practiced a lot with the power of forgiveness that is another example of soul power so I'm going to focus now on the forgiveness since we're going to use it again today as uh, a, a service for Danette. Now Danette <clears throat> is having some problems with, uh, with uh, her marriage and uh, so we're going to use that as an example. So she has a question. We are having marital problems for several years and a lot of counseling. How do I use soul power to make a decision? Okay. So the first thing, and this, this is not for Danette guys. You need to understand. <laughs> everyone who has a relationship this wisdom applies to you okay so Danette has a soul her significant other has a soul you know that it's pretty straightforward did you know that it's not their first time around it's not their first rodeo they've done this before okay if you're with somebody more than three to six months you've been with them at some level before uh, might have been brother or sister might have been mother father might have been co-workers may have been lovers but you've been around this rodeo once before that means that there is a soul between you two called a relationship soul and this relationship soul remember everything has a soul right that was the original teachings a thought has a soul a thought precedes the manifestation of the patent which precedes the manifestation of the product you hold in your hand everything originates from creator it has creator consciousness everything has a soul the relationship between these two peoples is a soul that soul carries with it all the lifetimes of your guys experiences and those experiences were not always the best they created in this current life uh, relationship problems they also created you coming together <clears throat> the reason you came together was not to get divorced okay that's the first clue so how do you make a decision to stay or to not stay the relation I'm not saying to stay if if the other person is abusive or alcoholic or anything like that you have to make conscious uh, self-saving uh, choices so this is not um, about harming yourself in the staying this is about recognizing the nature of the relationship soul and your individual souls soul power would acknowledge that relationship soul and it would state that <clears throat> the problems that are inherent at this time in the relationship uh, can be addressed using soul power and forgiveness and what happens when you apply soul power to the relationship is it starts to clear the blockages the karmic blockages or what in in master Shah's teaching and the teaching that I share is called Shen Chi and Jing blockages soul heart mind and body blockages um, so these blockages aren't gonna go away guys newsflash okay newsflash your suffering will not disappear just because you want it to it, it's not gonna happen that way the reason you have any suffering in your life including relationship suffering financial suffering doesn't matter what it is is because somewhere along the line you earned it yesterday we focused on responsibility okay you cannot move from victim 
to a solution without going into the middle of it, which is responsibility. And responsibility does not start with, you know, um, okay, I'm going to make a decision. No, that doesn't necessarily fix the problem. You can decide to stay. You can decide to leave. It did not fix the problem. Guaranteed, 100%. Why? Because the root of the problem <clears throat> was the spiritual deeds, the spiritual debts. And they're not going to just dissolve. You can leave that relationship, get into another one, have similar problems. Okay? Um, or leave that relationship, have a good relationship, potentially somebody else, but you're still going to deal with that person next time around. The problem wasn't resolved. So better to uh, address it with soul power, which deals with things at the root. So now new teaching, soul. Your soul is forever. You understand that, right? <clears throat> the wisdom is bless things, heal things at the level of soul. Your physical body here on earth, literally your physical, emotional, mental body is a mirror image of your soul and a mirror image of all of the physical problems on your soul, mental problems on your soul, emotional problems on your soul. I bet you didn't know your soul could have physical, emotional, and mental problems. It does because it's the carrier of all lifetimes of all your spiritual virtue and your spiritual debt. It carries all the good stuff and all the not so good stuff. You harm people's necks, your soul has a black spot on the neck, a black cloud. <clears throat> you harm people emotionally, your soul is, has emotional blockage. It's here messing with you on earth. How do you solve things? You have to go above this earth plane um, uh, um, <clears throat> solution. You have to deal with things at the level of soul. That's why it's called soul power. So. You do that by addressing the souls at the level that they're at. Now, yesterday's teaching also, again, reminder today, his soul, your soul, any soul, doesn't matter, boss, girlfriend, boyfriend, relationship, lover, mother, father, the souls of these people are not jerks, okay? The people may be jerks. The people may be very unpleasant. The souls themselves are not jerks. What's the purpose of every soul? To serve those souls. Prior to your guys' incarnation, they knew the plan. The souls are like, okay, we're going to get together. We're going to get married. We're all going to have this hunky-dory thing. We might have kid A, kid B. Our role is to resolve this and this problem, this and this problem. Uncle Joe's going to come in. This job's going to come in. And it's going to create this exact condition where we have the optimal conditions to resolve our problems so we don't have to do it again in the future. And we can move forward in love and peace and harmony. Uh, Lula, Lula, Lee, right? The souls know this coming in. At the ground level, you guys forgot. Okay, just that's part of responsibility. That's part of waking up. Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to fix things while I'm here. I'm not supposed to be miserable. Hmm, go figure. So now you're in it and you have to make some decisions. But the decisions should not be made until soul power is applied and the root blockages have been addressed as clearly as possible because what happens when the root blockages are directly addressed is the relationship soul which carries all this spiritual debt your soul and their soul the blockages start to lift the ability to respond in love and peace and harmony to each other becomes much easier to accomplish <clears throat> now it may be that there's a, a conscious, purposeful, uh, heart-based decision to go opposite directions. But that means that if you do decide to consciously divorce, that means that there won't be animosity and suffering between you after the fact. Why? Because you took the time to heal things at the level of soul. Do you get it? So don't try to fix things here at ground level because ground level didn't cause it. What caused it was all of your karmas. Deal with it with soul power. The first part, responsibility. Part two, asking for and offering forgiveness. Okay? Asking for, I'll repeat, asking for and offering forgiveness. I'm not going to offer that SOB forgiveness for what they did to me. Right? That's called ego. That's called lack of responsibility. What if you were the SOB before that did that to them? And now they're the SOB now doing that to you. Who's the victim? They were the victim before. Possibly. We don't know. The veil's been pulled over our eyes. The karma's been pulled over our eyes. We can't clearly see. But what we do know 
is that it's going to keep thumping us on the head until we wake up, step into responsibility, and do something about it. Okay? So this is the nature of comprehension of soul. Everyone has a soul. The purpose of every soul is to serve. Soul power. The first step is forgiveness. Dear all souls, dear the soul of my lover, my husband, I love you. This relationship has been very, very hard. We have made many, many errors and we have done many good things for each other. Uh, but we're at an impasse. We're at a place where it's very, very hard for me to hear you and it's very hard for you to hear me. I have many important things to say and I'm not feeling heard, therefore I'm not feeling the love and vice versa. Now this kind of a conversation is a soul conversation. It is not a, honey, sit down, I have to have this conversation with you. That has not worked so far. It's probably not going to work now. You have to talk to their soul. Now remember, their soul is not their personality. Your soul is not your personality. The souls want the best. The souls want this to be resolved. So you have to have a soul-to-soul -soul communication that is win-win. Get it? I love you. I really want this to work out, not only for the kids, but for us. And I married you. I loved you. I, that, I want that to return. However, this is what I'm wanting. This is what I'm needing. Uh, I want for you to be happy too. I want to, to best align to what your you know, needs are, etc. Please forgive me for any time I have, and this is where you need to listen carefully. You have to ask for forgiveness, not for what you think you are doing to them. No, this is where people make the mistakes. They'll tell you, you know, you do this, you do that, you blame me, you criticize me, you don't listen to me, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's not where your forgiveness is, guys. That's a portion of it. You don't want to ignore it. It's relevant, okay? But your forgiveness that you need to ask for is where you feel you've been burdened, taken advantage of, not listened to, harmed, uh, um, whatever it is, okay, you need to define your feelings, your needs, how you've been dumped on, how you haven't been listened to, blah, 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 blah. You need to ask for forgiveness for doing those things to the other because that's what has returned to you. Do you get it? You need to do the opposite for them. Since they are not present, watching this now and they do not um, comprehend the value of and wisdom that is being shared their heart is not open enough probably to even listen to it you probably are right now going oh my god I want to do this and I want them to listen to it blah 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 and hey God bless you if their hearts open enough to listen to it I hope they are probably they are not because they're in pain they're in emotional pain they're not bad they're not good they're just an emotional pain so you has searched out enough to find some of these solutions. Um, you have to call their soul and you have to teach their soul. Okay, now I am going to place myself in your shoes and I'm going to try to feel all of the things you're feeling, all the things you're needing. And I'm going to walk you through asking me for forgiveness. I am going to ask for forgiveness for all of the harm that I might have. Because when you go into their shoes and you try to comprehend their suffering, then you, you can become more compassionate for what they might be going through, okay? And you ask and you offer forgiveness. And you teach their soul how to ask and offer forgiveness. And you repeat, you repeat, you repeat. This is part and parcel of soul power. Okay, do you want to make it better? You want to make it more powerful? Ask God to come. God's a soul, right? Much bigger than your soul, a lot more power than your soul. Love Jesus, love Mother Mary, ask their soul to come. Love Buddha, ask his soul to come. Always ask the beings of light to come. Mother Earth has a soul. She's an unconditional servant. She serves seven billion, seven billion unappreciative people. And she still serves us unconditionally. Ask her soul to come because she wants us to not end up in strife. She wants the best for all of us. Ask the beings of light. This is how you make it better. You want to make it better? Download Love, Peace and Harmony, a soul song. It carries extraordinary frequency. Play it. Listen to it. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, I now understand you have a soul and that your soul is to serve. I understand now that you have been uplifted to have extraordinary healing frequencies. As I play you in the house 24 hours a day on volume one so it doesn't bother anybody, can you please 
bless my relationship with me and my husband. Bless us to unwind what we have created and make conscious, healthy choices for our future. These are three different examples of soul power. I'm going to use other soul powers in other communications. I spent 20 minutes on this one, but I think it helped 100% of us, okay? Uh, if you would like individual guidance, service, blessings, I do individual guidance, service, blessings. I can clear a lot of these spiritual debts and karma. I gave crown chakra blessings to two beautiful souls today, a husband and a wife, and it was specifically for uh, releasing the uh, past negative memories of their uh, in this life uh, that um, is impeding them from moving forward and opening their hearts in love and peace and harmony towards each other okay and they they will very likely be much much easier to move forward so uh, two beautiful souls in the last six months they've had a lifetime of shift just in the last six months because they came to me for a little bit of blessings and a little bit of counseling and now they're very much on track and doing much much better and you know their kids are going to benefit their whole family will benefit so this is available okay next question um scrolling through to the next question welcome lauren k thank you for joining hope you're still enjoying this welcome also to geraldine i know i might have mentioned your name before welcome magdalene welcome uh michelle james dodd Welcome Angela. Welcome Johnny. Okay. Um, I did answer your forgiveness question, Andy. You'll probably have to go back and watch it. April Hansen, welcome. How do I heal my fifth layer? Okay. Um, not sure what you're referring to there, April. And it's... Uh, uh, with soul power, the best I can do is offer this. Dear the soul of my fifth layer, I love you. I know that there is a significant blockage here. I know that I may have harmed other souls and impeding them from advancing to their fifth layer. I wish to sincerely apologize to all souls in all time for harming you in any way by thought, word, or action, impeding you from achieving your next goal, your next layer. In any aspect of your life, if I have impeded you from achieving that next uh, goal or layer or achievement, I sincerely, sincerely apologize. Uh, then you would um, try to use other forms of soul power, including the ones I've mentioned, uh, to transform that. Uh, that's an example, okay? Because I don't have further information on what that means, that's the best I can offer. Okay, welcome Edna. Uh, Aloha Raven Christine. Aloha Sherry Jarman. How can I use soul power to help clear debt, bad financial conditions? Okay, I know everybody will like to hear this one. So pay attention. <clears throat> I'm going to give you soul power first and then go backwards okay type into google and Kristen you can find this if you want um, YouTube meditation finances master Shah YouTube meditation finances master Shah a uh, a meditation music will pop up in which financial blessings have been transmitted to it how would you like to have heaven open a gate and finances drip down to you on a constant basis? Who wouldn't want that, right? What is finances? Finances is virtue. In heaven, they have banks. In earth, they have banks. In heaven, the bank is called a virtue bank. You individually have a virtue bank. That virtue bank includes all the positive and good things you and your ancestors did and all the negative things. Do you have a negative balance in your virtue bank in heaven? I don't know. Possibly, if you're having significant suffering, it's very reasonable and very possible. So you need to do everything possible, not you, you Sherry. All of those that have these blockages need to do significant things to increase your virtue bank. One of the soul powers that has been given to humanity, thank you, Master Shah, is this incredible 
a virtue bank in the form of a transmission to a piece of music. He's also chanted. Uh, it's a bit loud, uh, so it, it, at first it sounds a little jarring when you hear Master Saw chanting in one of the other videos for Financial Blessings, but I don't really care. He's putting virtue in my virtue bank. It's a no-brainer. I'll listen to him even if it's a little jarring. What you do is on your YouTube video, you right-click on it, and it'll show you about nine choices. One of them is called loop. You loop that video. Put it on a, uh, the, actually the, the meditation one is beautiful music. I love to have it up, but put it on loop. Don't close that browser. Keep that browser open. But most importantly, listen to this. Be grateful. Don't just turn it on and ignore it. Tune into it every day. Dear the soul of Master Shah, the soul of this music and the financial blessings in this music, I am deeply honored and grateful for your generosity of leaving this financial blessing for humanity to receive financial blessings. Truly, truly honored. You need to do that every day. The amount of virtue you could receive could be 10, 10 times more. Um, also do a forgiveness practice every day. Dear all the souls that I have created harm financially to. You can go down the rabbit hole very deep here. All the souls that I have kept from having a job. All the souls that I have caused to lose their jobs from my greed, any corruption that I or my ancestors did in any lifetime. You might be a beautiful soul right now. You might be a wonderful soul that would give the shirt off your back to anybody. Doesn't mean you've always been that intelligent and wise. Maybe you're that kind of a person because you have to be because in previous times you made some significantly large mistakes. Okay, you need to go down a deep rabbit hole of forgiveness. Not please forgive me if I took money from you or harmed you. No, that's very cursory. You got to go. If I or my ancestors, um, you know, had wrong business dealings and you lost your business, maybe you lost your livelihood and you got sick and then you lost your life and then your wife. Uh, could not take care of the children and then they lost their house and they had to go live on a farm and then uh, this and this if all of this happened because of my greed my ancestor please forgive me if I have ever um, taken the life of some soul or a loved one in uh, working for the military at some point in time and as a result there was great financial suffering great suffering by other families what are the possibilities it's not just if I took for you or stole from you there are many, many ways that we, our ancestors, could have harmed others. We need to go into deep and authentic forgiveness before those spiritual debts are released in, that, in, the, in the bank in heaven. Um, and then you need to do a lot of service. That's how you do it. This is soul power. This is not Paul shaking his finger at you going, do this, do this, do that. This is the deepest comprehension of soul, guys. You and all these other souls are one. You are experiencing unpleasant financial conditions, no job, blah, 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 because of something that has been done to another beautiful, beautiful soul. A perfect being of God has been harmed by something out of alignment with love, greed, corruption. On some level, we, our ancestors, made those unpleasant choices. And they're not going to dissolve and go away no different than a relationship is going to keep coming back and beating you over the head. They're, they're just not going to go away. We have to step into the responsibility role. This is soul comprehension because the soul lives forever. These are soul powers, okay? This is not where you can just, you know, fortunately I've been blessed. I can raise my hand, offer a blessing. I can give crown chakra blessings. I can do things that clear these kinds of blockages. But even then, it's, it's not going to be all of it. Because heaven will disallow that. Who learned the lesson then, right? You have to learn the lessons. You have to go down the deep forgiveness road. These are all soul wisdom teachings. So do these things. Go get that piece of music. Listen to it. Do your part. Be grateful. Gratitude says, I have enough. Gratitude tells heaven, please forgive me for complaining. Gratitude says, whatever is in my pocket, I am grateful for. Whatever is in my fridge, I am grateful for. Gratitude says, please forgive me for complaining. God, uh, I've been complaining that you're not enough, but 
I'm not enough, that life's not enough, that I'm the victim, blah, 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 blah. Gratitude is the opposite of victim. Gratitude is opening your heart. Gratitude says, I'm grateful for what I have. It changes your trajectory of your manifestations. It changes what you will receive. You have to do this for multiple layers and multiple levels. Okay? So employ these wisdoms consistently. You will see results. Um, I can offer crown chakra blessings, for example, to remove the negative mindsets and attitudes inhibiting you from having positivity and gratitude towards your future. Okay? Um, it's not like flicking a switch. It's more like you just start stop saying those negative things. You just start thinking more positive and it just starts happening more easily. Why aren't you doing that? Karma. Very simple. The, those things, those negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs that, that, that hold you down, those because you delivered those or an ancestor delivered those same kinds of things that created those same kinds of fears and worries and doubts and concerns upon others. That's why they revisit us. It's very simple. Okay. All right. Next question. Welcome, Sonia. Welcome also to Jess. Welcome, Lynn. Welcome, Janet. Welcome, Nelson Feidler. Uh, thank you, Wanda, for that comment. You're until your minute. Welcome, Leone. Welcome, Tasha. Uh, welcome, Diana. She says your explanation and teachings are priceless. Thank you, Master Shah. I give credit to Master Shah. You know, I would not have the ability to alliterate these things if I did not take the time to clear the crud, right? I've just been doing this for years and years and years. You clear the crud, heaven opens more, all of a sudden the wisdom comes in. I can explain it a little bit better, okay? Been through it, so it's much easier. Gratitude helps. Susan says, sometimes angry and hot-headed about relationship. Um, yep, yeah. and so this again is soul power, you know. Um, it's, it's easy to get angry. And sometimes the person, you know, that's creating those things for us, sometimes it is just their crud, right? And we're doing our best. But we, it doesn't mean that their crud is our crud. It means that we need to take care of ourselves in those cases, that we can ask for forgiveness if we brought that kind of anger upon others, for example. It means we can self-clear our stuff so that we can be more compassionate around those folks. It means that after we do our part with the relationship, if they're still being unpleasant and we've done a good job and we're you know, trying to be happy in a relationship, but they're just not, and they're not willing to make any changes, maybe you've, you know, you've done your best to offer them. If, if all that's transpired and you've done your best, okay, time to go. You know, you can make that choice, but you can make it only after you do your part. Okay? Um, our, I'm keep scrolling, but I'm looking for any additional questions. Desaya, Jada Jada, welcome. Glad you're loving this. Uh, Did we have different life paths to choose from? Yes, always. It's called free will. Um, but how do you discern which one? Uh, which one makes you happiest? Which one is serving you to make you happy and healthy and at the same time serving others to make them happy and healthy? Okay. Service does not mean you give away everything. I do a lot of service and some of it I give away and like this, this is giving away service and some of it I have to have an honor fee. Um, I'm doing what I love. I'm making people happier and healthier. If what you're doing is not making you and others happier and healthier, then communicate with heaven. Ask for forgiveness for any times you've kept others from doing what's kept them from being happier and healthier. Any times you kept others from having jobs and, and livelihoods and careers that have kept them from being happier and healthier. Ask heaven to assist you to bring the right conditions into your life where you can have things that can make you happier and healthier. Ask the source, soul, song of love, peace, and harmony. Uh, the same thing, right? And these things will enter your life that could help you to be happier and healthier. Welcome, Bridget Ledoux. Uh, Bridget says, how can I heal my thyroid? Okay, so let's work with that. The nature of the thyroid is that it, 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 it is the... Um, 
it is a balancing instrument it is truly important the location of the thyroid is important the location is our vocal cords expression okay a lack of expression when you should have expressed or too much expression when you shouldn't have expressed anything <clears throat> kill that person doesn't sound very good right what if in a previous time you or others gave orders to take other people's lives that's incorrect expression uh, what if others were harming others and you witnessed it but you didn't do anything that's a lack of appropriate expression these create spiritual deaths for us right also this area controls emotions in the body if you know when it's whacked your emotions get whacked it also controls the temperatures of the body um, and the uh, and quite a few other things so you can look at the possibility of forgiveness around those things if I have ever harmed anybody's by creating imbalances in their temperature you know there have been conditions in which planets have been destroyed because people made wrong choices with technology uh, planets freeze over ours have done that and so forth or um, wrong thoughts words or action that created people to worry or fear unnecessarily to have anxiety or depression unnecessarily to have uh, maybe lives were taken where grief and sadness occurred unnecessarily um, and so forth so this area can control a lot of things it's a chakra area it's the fifth chakra and has a direct association to all of these possibilities it also has associations to um, to free will and willpower have uh, did you have you done forgiveness or consider doing forgiveness around uh, um, harming others free will controlling them where they have no free will also where there is no willpower where their will is is just so diminished they don't even really care anymore okay and so again I repeat anybody that is watching this is already on an advanced spiritual path it doesn't mean the good beautiful soul that you are today has not learned a lot and would never ever ever make those kinds of choices truly understand that uh, we're all conscious and aware enough where we would not make those unpleasant choices but the reason we're that conscious person today is because we've worked hard at becoming conscious and not making those unpleasant choices it doesn't mean those debts have been fully released it doesn't mean that at some point in time the debts of our ancestors or even us made those unpleasant choices before so we want to look at this from this very holistic soul perspective and bring this soul wisdom to resolve it okay so how do you um, bring the the healing and trans healing to yourself uh, in a nutshell you become conscious first become responsible secondly identify where your sufferings are identify the feelings and needs around those sufferings and the depths of those and then flop it to the other side recognizing that others have experienced the depth of those things things that you're in right and when you flop it to the other side that's where you do your forgiveness practice at the same depth of your suffering really realizing that as painful as it has been for you to even just pay the next bill how excruciating would it have been for somebody else if you were the one that created that condition if you can go into a deep forgiveness around that you could have significant uh, stuff released you uh, everybody needs to build up their virtue bank that means serving others the source soul song love peace harmony I always default to it why very simple because there's the potential for receiving virtue from seven billion people when you chant I love my heart and soul you are self clearing your own blockages in your heart and soul when you mean it you're self clearing it faster I love all humanity how many people in humanity 7.7 7 billion when you mean it and you serve from your heart I love all humanity except that person over there and that person over there that hurt me no <laughs> that's not unconditional okay you have to be conscious all humanity is from same source all humanity is you you and 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 that jerk next to you and that good person next to you are from the same cell you're from the same soul so you can't be um, you know it's no different than the cancer cells in the body they're just souls that that have have forgotten the purity that they once uh, were and they represent cancer is a representation of spiritual debt guys is very simple 
cancer is a blob it represents spiritual debt and so it's no different on the outside you know these are the people that we blame they're part of our body but we're pointing at it saying no I don't like you no 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 but they're part of our body no different than the cancer is part of a person's body we have to recognize that and send love peace and harmony to all souls when we offer unconditional virtue to other souls uh, their soul their soul what's the purpose of every soul the purpose of every soul is to what to serve when we offer unconditional service and their soul gives us virtue says thank you for your love thank you for your service to my soul I give you virtue back now it's kumbaya now everyone is serving everyone if you got seven billion flowers in your virtue bank because you chanted to serve unconditionally your uh, problems could dramatically dissolve in a relatively fast period of time this is an example of soul power okay soul power can be used in so many ways the problems the the my teacher master shop again re recommend you pick up any of his books this one Dao song Dao dance you can get them affordably off Amazon used you know a couple of bucks here a couple of bucks there um, power of soul if you're not familiar with this at all start with the power of soul it's an excellent book um, but start with it and start to comprehend the nature of your soul in relationship to everyone else's soul and move away from selfishness move towards selflessness by serving others because that's what's going to uh, re start resolving your problems by doing forgiveness because that's what's going to start solving your problems there's so many different forms of soul power including the ones that I offer as a master teacher I'm not only affluent with speaking this wisdom I have honored for in my lifetime studying under this teacher uh, at least a hundred thousand dollars I have paid from my pocket one hundred thousand uh, dollars for master Shah's organization to continue to spread around the world and in return what I received was miracle level healing abilities and services so I can offer uh, you know miracle stuff where pain goes away where chakras are not just the crystal waved over them where the the chakra uh, and all the karma in it is released where a new chakra comes in and a light wall protection comes around it same thing can be offered for organs and systems that kind of soul power is is some only something that can be can transmitted like power can be transmitted to the books etc I have received those powers and can offer services these help release the blockages a thousand times faster so learn more go to my website contact me soul power can be done in by yourself with the assistance of books objects things music uh, and it can be dramatically accelerated if you receive services like the kind I'm mentioning so I'm happy to offer this wisdom and this teachings um, there are many different ways in which you can expand your knowledge and awareness uh, learn more at drshaw.com learn more at my website um, just just learn more because whether this is your path or not your path if you want to go another direction that's I have no judgment everybody has their own direction but if this resonates with you I recommend you stick with it because this is like the the tip of Antarctica this is like one little crystalline tip of Antarctica there's so much that can be learned uh, that can be a massive blessing to your soul journey that all the other things that have led you to this point will just dissolve I have been on this journey 30 years guys um, I went through all the stuff you're currently going through if you're new I can share with you from from experience everything else is somewhat limited until you grasp the power of your soul and this will help you and it doesn't take away from everything else you learned it just makes everything else you've learned a whole lot more efficient and a lot uh, a lot better okay so I thank you for joining me today I love you all I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve you I will see you again tomorrow same time same place love you love you love you thank you thank you thank you gong song gong song gong song bye bye everybody